Edinburgh, through laminated filters, the view was as good as anyone dared hope this far north. Last chance to see the eclipse. People happily scaled the heights of buildings to get closer to nature's display in the heavens. Here, the eclipse was always going to be partial, but the gloom, well, reflected what millions of others were witnessing further south. Over the Humber, it could have been a crescent moon, but this was the darkness of the sun obscured by the moon at around 11 in the morning. The celestial show easily outshining the splendor of the suspension bridge. And these were the minutes during which the skies darkened over Manchester, accelerated by a time-lapse camera. This was how the majority of people witnessed the eclipse, its effect nonetheless impressive for being gradual. The sun will not disappear like this again for more than 90 years. Well, that was superb. Oh my God, that was brilliant. That was really, really good. Oh, okay. oh wow. I wish that had earlier. I got four sandwiches to eat, yeah. There was an early lunch break for the lucky ones. For those at work, the dilemma was whether their employers would cover time off for the covering of the sun. Here in Norwich, the stunning display was there for all to behold. That's probably maximum now, I think. Well, it's... <laughs> in Wales, partial or not, it mattered not. Clouds failed to obscure the magnificence of this natural phenomenon. <laughs> Dealing rooms in the city of London fell as silent as the telephones left off their hook. Millions of pounds worth of trading put on hold as millions looked at this transaction in the skies. London's workers gathered on the city's bridges and in Trafalgar Square, Nelson was briefly overshadowed. Despite the predictions that the southwest of England was the only place to be, central London proved as fruitful a hunting ground for eclipse watchers as anywhere, clouds again failing to shield it to the joy of countless tourists. We enjoyed it. To be in London. On the south coast, sun worshippers found the object of their praise eerily darkened for a few moments. This was Brighton, where in the middle of the morning the lights on the pier were burning. The National Grid reported a huge power surge as people resumed life after the eclipse, the equivalent of an additional 4 million people switching on or 5 million cups of tea being brewed. And over a place that for centuries has been the focus of the sun and all its mysteries, some 10,000 people gathered. Stonehenge proved as emotional and profound a sight for those there today as it has for generations through the ages. It was a once-in-a-lifetime event, and fittingly, a life arrived during it. Weighing six pounds, three ounces, baby Lucy was born in hospital in Bristol at nine minutes past 11. Her mum, Denise True, had gone into hospital for an induced birth as she was 12 days late. But her daughter arrived at the height of the